can't believe we've come to the point in our life where we're reviewing almond milk. I feel like an old person <laughs> that's like, I taste something different. And, and I feel like I would say to myself if I was younger, it's the same thing. And it's like, <laughs> no, there's something different in each one. What's going on, everyone? We have a fun video for you today. Today, we're going to review almond milks. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we do a video about nut juice, you'll be alerted to it. So we've got a fun video. And uh, what we're gonna do today is we're going to do a taste test. Remember the Pepsi challenge? Yeah. We're gonna do an almond milk challenge. That's how old we've gotten. Now, what has spawned this is we've gotten into drinking fancy coffees at fancy home. Fancy pants coffee. So instead of just drinking black coffee, we sometimes wanna put a couple of squirts of a skinny syrup and we wanna have like that cappuccino foam on top. So we use one of these frothers. And what we've learned, because we don't wanna use heavy cream or milk or half and half or any of that kind of stuff, we use almond milk, mm -hmm. and what we've learned, some of them froth, and some of them don't, which means the ingredients are different. Well, and it makes sense because heavy whipping cream, I mean, milk is milk. It's a different cow, but it's the same thing. But like, you're not milking an almond to get nut juice. <laughs> you're um, you're adding water to the almonds, so people have, there's different amounts. So right. like, every company is different, and we, honestly thought our frother was broken. We actually bought a second frother. So now we have two of them. Yeah, because some of them have more fat than others. So here's what we've got. We've got five popular almond milks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, most of the, these all came from our local grocery store with the exception of this one. This one came from Aldi. Um, I think it's this one though. So yeah, if you look at the Almond Breeze container in like this, not in the plastic, mm -hmm. uh, it looks almost identical. Yeah. But it's someone. I mean, and pretty much like your store brand is one of these. Your store's not making their own. Right. But we've got the five that we could find in our personal area. So we've got Silk, which is probably the most popular one, followed up by Almond Breeze. Then we have the Aldi version. We've got a couple of fancy ones. Yeah. We've got Simply Almond. And the Calfia Farms. Calfia Farms, and that's the straight almond milk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly go over the differences. Well, actually, before we even do that, let's go over the taste them. So let's yeah. put these off to the side. And again, we're gonna do Pepsi Challenge here. So what I've done is you can see on here, I've numbered each container. And then, each one of these glasses have one. And then I've numbered down here on the bottom, which means you have to finish the oh. whole thing so we can actually see. This way, I know which one is which. Almond milk is always a funny color, so isn't it? So which one, we, oh, by the way, we generally buy vanilla flavored almond milk. I just like it, especially cause I'm using it for my like custard, like we can use it for our protein custard. I'll leave a link for that right up there. As well as I make it for my like, protein shakes every morning. I yeah. use eight ounces of almond milk. So I let's, like vanilla. Let's start here. Okay. And we'll work our way that way. Okay. Toward you. Yep. Tastes like almond milk. Okay. So remember, you gotta remember which one you like and which one you mm. don't. Okay. Okay, so that one had a decent flavor, a bit of an aftertaste to it. Yeah. That one tastes nuttier to me. This one's a little bit thicker. Yeah. More like, it, it's more like skim milk. Not as, doesn't have as nutty of a flavor. I don't know if you want that last sip, mm -hmm. right? It's, I don't feel that's as nutty, but it's more like a traditional milk. A little bit thicker and I don't know, but it, like the texture of an uh, of a of skim milk. But between this and this, I would say this one's the better. So that's the one you like the better. Yeah. Okay. 
So right now, this is number one. This is how we're going to rank what we like. Hmm. That's got a good flavor. Wow. That Now that is like all nuts, but very watery. Very watery, but it's got a good flavor yeah. coming through. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put that one here. Yeah, because it's like, it's almost like, do you like it thick or do you like it tasting like nuts? So let's go this way. We're going to go opposite. So that's one, two, two, three. Yeah. Okay, we got two left. Like this is creamier. Oh my gosh. Nice. Now that, that is got the thickness of milk and it's got a really good flavor, a slight almond flavor, but not yeah. overly almond. Like, does that make sense? Like, I'm I'm feeling like this is like a 2% fat milk, yeah. right? Better than skim milk. So I'm definitely putting that one at number one. Me too. Okay. So that one to me. It's a lot like it, it, it's a it's got a really good texture, very thick, yeah. like right like milk. Tastes good at first, but it's got a bit of an aftertaste. I'm probably gonna put that though in here, just because I like the fact that it's both the nutty texture. and creamy. Yeah. So yeah, I would agree. I I I may switch this one. I'm not quite sure. They're, these are pretty close for me. Okay, so let's go over. What we have? Do you want to? Do you want to figure out which one we drank and then go over the ingredients? Yeah. Number so, one. So it looks like number one. Number one, one is silk. Wow. That shocks me. That shocks me too. Okay. And uh, number two for us was number three. Number three is Aldi. What? <laughs> wow. Okay, that really shocks me. Okay. Number three for us was number two. Which is Almond Breeze. All right. Who's next? Number four. Is Simply Almond. And number five is Calfia Farms. I'm shocked. Okay. Here's the thing that is going to really shock you. These are the most expensive. This is what we're using in our coffee every day. Yeah. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Because this one froths up it really, froths the really best. well. And so we're actually going to show you the difference, but I'm shocked to learn. I would have sworn that number one was this one. And I figured number two was either Silk or Coffee of Farms and number three was the opposite. And I really thought this was going to be the end. So based on taste and texture, this is the ones we preferred. So here's the here's the thing though. You've got to know what are you using almond milk for? Because if you're using it in like our custard, then the taste and how its frothability may not be what is the most important because you're just trying to follow the recipe and it becomes a back note. If you're trying to froth it, you want ones that froth well. And if you're just drinking it like a glass of milk, you're gonna want it to be a taste thing. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to froth a couple of these up. Yeah. Just okay. So, you can so see. this one is the one that we like the most. As far as for from a frothing perspective. Okay. Now again, I we have two. We have two. Because we thought that it was broken. We thought it was broken. We got watery type of And then stuff. it occurred to me. Maybe it's that, the fat. That like it wasn't even the fat. It occurred to me that like, hey, I don't I don't know. You know? This one's almost empty. Now, while we're waiting for these to froth, we'll froth them all up. Let's go over the nutrition because that is what's really interesting. So yeah. we're going to start off with this one here, the silk. Yeah. Which is our favorite one, right? Mm -hmm. 30 calories in eight ounces, mm -hmm. 2.5 grams of fat, one gram of protein, one gram of carbohydrates. The ingredients are filtered water almonds, a vitamin and mineral blend, which is calcium carbonate, vitamin E, acetate, vitamin A, Locust bean gum, sea salt, galan gum, ascorbic acid, and natural flavors. Okay. So not, I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. It, at least it doesn't have carrageenan or anything like that in it, but it does have some added gums, which makes sense because that was the thickest one. Right, exactly. Okay, so this one, the, the Aldi one, 30 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, um, one gram of protein, one total carb. The ingredients are almond milk. 
which is filtered water and almonds, calcium carbonate, natural flavors, sea salt, gallon gum, dipotassium phosphate, sunflower lecithin, xanthan gum, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D2, and D-alpha uh, tofferol. Wow. That's a list. Okay, let me have your your little cup over there. Okay. So this is silk. I mean, this one. Oh, no, this is this one here. Simply almond. This is simply almond. Look at and it. Look at this frothing. Look at that. I mean, that's beautiful. That's what you want to see in the right, top that, of your coffee. That is the froth from that one. You're fancy, right? Okay. Super fancy. I mean, fancy. you can actually sculpt that. Yeah. I'm going to make a heart on top of my coffee. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, give me the silk one. Okay. You can put that back. We'll start this one up. Now let's move on while we're waiting for these. Yeah. We've got the Almond Breeze. 30 calories, two and a half grams of fat, one total carb, one gram of dietary fiber. By the way, they all say less than one gram of dietary fiber, one gram of protein. Ingredients are almond milk, calcium carbonate, natural flavors, sea salt, potassium citrate, sunflower lecithin, galan gum, vitamin A, vitamin D, uh, tofurols, it contains almonds. So very similar ingredients to the silk. The difference is this one has sunflower lecithin and that one had, I think, um, locust bean gum. So, right. But very, very similar. So this one is done. And, that and this, is one is this one is the silk, right? Right. So now take a look at this. Nothing. Looks I, it's terrible. got a little bit of froth. But, Barely. But not. More like air. Like the Simply Almond. So which ones do we have left still? We need this one, right? Yep. Wait, did you do this one? Yeah. Okay, that's actually this then. Oh. Yes, that was that one. I'm sorry. So that was number two. So we're going to do the coffee of farms while we keep going here. It's another good frother usually. And this is what happened is that when we were buying this, because it was on sale, it wasn't on sale anymore. So I ran to Aldi and I bought three of these. And that's what I kept coming up with, like bubbles. It looks like you were blowing bubbles in your milk. And I'm like, yeah. what happened to this? And we did know. And this one is now done. Okay, and so this one was the silk one, right? Right. So here's the silk one. A little bit better, but and nothing that's, like that's this. And that's what we were used to. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty good, better than that. I mean, and this I think, is... What are we missing now? We're, we're missing... You're missing this guy. That one there. Almond Breeze, and you're still working on We're still Calpia working on Farms. the other one. But I mean, that's a huge difference. Okay. So now let's, well, these are going, let's get into the last two. Mm -hmm. So we have Simply Almond, which froths the best. Like a dream. If you just want froth, it froths the best, but you also lose a lot of milk. Like you don't get a lot of milk in the bottom. It froths up so much. And this, like you come back in an hour and it still looks like that. Yeah. Okay. So this one is 50 calories per serving. Four grams of fat. So it's one and a half more grams of fat per eight ounces, two grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. Ready for the ingredients in this? Yeah. Almond milk, mm -hmm. which is filtered water and almonds, natural flavors and sea salt. And that's it. That's it. So this is the healthiest for you. And it's doing the best frothing job. And it's doing the best frothing job. And taste wise, it was good. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't like the best taste, but I'm not drinking it normally as just a straight milk. Right. Now, I think it had a good taste, but what it did not have is a good texture. These were more like traditional milk, but again, why? They're adding gums in there, which right. is thickening it up. So yeah. that's the difference. So this one is done, and this is the Calvia Farms. Now, when I was doing my experiments, I was again... Like oh, I wow. figured the better ones were going to give me a better froth and take a look at the Calfia Farms. Uh, for some reason, I remembered the Calfia Farms being better about frothing. Yeah, right? But it's not. Look it's at not. that. And we actually, this one here, we stopped it early. This one here, number one, we stopped it early. Like this one is still going. Okay, so... That when it's full cycle and it's not as froth. Yeah. So you ready? We're gonna stop this one early. Cause that's this guy. That's that is that one. Almond breeze. Almond breeze. Pretty good. To me, actually, 
That's the froth I like the best. Nuh uh. I want, I want to like, I want big peaks. Okay, now here's the thing. We still have to go over the ingredients on this one. But this here is $3 for this big jug in our store. How much is this? Four dollars and ninety nine cents. This is forty six ounces. This is ninety six ounces. So now even now that was happened to be on sale. So I'm even going to go to this. When you buy it in this size, it's normally like I think it's like two dollars and seventy nine cents. But this is sixty four ounces. So you're paying almost double for this for the cleaner ingredients with no gums. You do get this. But that tastes better. And I actually think on top of a cup, this is almost like a meringue. Like, look at this. I can like I shape it. Like it. I love it. <laughs> it depends on what you want. Right. That's the whole thing. Like, and, and what is your texture that you like? So let's go, we have one more to go over the ingredients. Calvia Farms, 45 calories, three grams of fat, two total carbohydrates, and one gram of protein. So what have we learned from all this? I won't buy this one anymore. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's my least favorite. It costs more money because this one was four bucks. It costs more money and it has more carbs in it. Well, yeah, I don't want any of that. And I don't want, I don't like this kind of froth. So if you're looking for pure froth, if you're looking for sculpting foam like this. You're the coffee person. You got that one. But again, you can look in here and there's hardly any actual milk in the bottom. So if you want a milky coffee, like the answer is yeah. that one or this one. Because you're getting you're still getting a decent froth for much less money and more amount. And it tastes better. Yeah. And then amazingly, if you're looking for froth, don't buy this one. But if you're looking for flavor and texture. This one is really good, and in our local Aldi, it is two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, so if you're making our keto custard with keto chow, like on the regular, that's the one I would use because it's not going to cost nearly as much money. I am shocked by the results of this. Me too. <laughs> because like we have been going back and forth in the house buying this one because of that result, thinking like, okay, it's got to taste better, but we never actually tasted it individually and i've just decided that i'm not buying this anymore because i was trying to justify is it worth spending double the money on the um milk and though you get a little bit better froth with that one i actually enjoy those two in my coffee more because it just when you drink it it's more like that coffee experience again if i come back in two hours that's what that's going to look like well so. well and i I guess I've been treating myself with this too, thinking that these guys were totally interchangeable. For some reason in my mind, I remembered it being like just as frothy, mm -hmm. but clearly it isn't. And I'm not crazy about the taste. So like, yeah, it stopped with that. But every once in a while, when I seriously need a tall peak, I can see investing in this just because I just love that. I feel like that's a coffee house experience. But also bear in mind, this one is double the amount of fat as the yeah. other one. So it's a it's double true. the cost, double the fat, it's almost double the calories. So that's going to be today's video. Now let us know down in the comment section, if you drink almond milk, let us know what your favorite almond milk is. Or maybe you don't drink almond milk. Maybe you use mac milkadamia or you use, oh, I hope not, but soy milk or hemp milk. We really like hemp milk. We need to try this with hemp milk. Yeah. Or maybe you use the carton shelf stable ones, which we use sometimes for our ice creams. Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video about nut juice, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.